So let's have a look at creating HDR merge photos in Affinity Photo for iPad in this case, but you can also use the desktop. This one's just on the iPad. Now, to get started, to use the Create HDR Merge Images in Affinity Photo, you need to be able to take a series of images that have been taken in a sequence of lighter, normal, darker exposures, with a minimum of three images. Most modern DSLR cameras have an auto bracket mode built right in that will create these images for you. And the image shown there is from the instruction manual of my uh, DMC G5 uh, Panasonic. And in the case of the Panasonic DMC G5, you can create up to seven images to merge ranging across seven variations of exposure. But we'll just be using three for this exercise. The first step is to take the three images that you will use. Notice there are three different exposures. You have the first picture, second picture and third picture. Now these would normally be taken with perhaps a tripod because you don't want to move the tripod and have the three separate images out of, out of alignment. It will straighten up minor variations, but not big ones. Now it takes them really quickly too. so you might be all right. Or you can take one image and make the adjustments yourself and then stitch them together in the merge option. In this case I'll show you both methods. Now the images will be stored in your camera and you can then transfer them to your computer or Apple Photos, which I use for simple convenience, Apple Photos. Now it's really straightforward because each image is taken, as you can see there, with plus 0 and minus 3 um, percentages of exposure. Now let's have a look at how this is done in practice. So let's have a look at HDR blending in action. And you can see I've got my iPad mini open here, <coughs> and we're going to start a new document. But what we want to do is select New HDR Merge, which you can see is three from the bottom there. So I select that one, and it comes up there using those options there by default. Now we can just leave that because that's fine for the moment. Now where do we want these photos to come from? I'm going to put three images in here. You can put up, you can put as many as you like. But I'll put three. Now my camera, as just previously explained, will take up to seven images in the sequence you want. But I only want three, because three is enough for what I'm doing. Three is certainly enough for real estate photos. And if you're doing landscapes, which I'll look at shortly, um, then it's very good. That's all you need. But let's have a look, meantime, for images from my photos gallery. Now there they come there. You can see I've got lots of rubbish images there, but the three I want are that one, that one, and that one. Now you can see the left one of those is quite light. The middle one is a standard photo that's just as it came. And the third one is slightly darker. Now I'll add those to the new HDR merge um, section there, and you can see it lines them up 0, 1, and 2. Now it's as simple as this you just click OK and it goes and merges the three of those images together. And what that does is end up with an image like that that's probably as good as you're going to get for those three images just straight off. You can see there's no deep shadows, there's no blazing highlights and in fact it's a very comfortable image but before you click OK you can actually check it out. You can do a little bit of toning or a little bit of exposure yourself if you want to fiddle with those things and I don't at this stage. There's tone mapping as the next one down and the master there. That's default presets. You can see there you can change it. 
We don't want to do any presets, so, so we'll just leave that as it is. Now we'll go up and, and tap on the, the tick there, the tick and across, a check or a tick, whichever you like. On the left hand side you can see there's a few options there to do different things as well. We won't worry about those because what we're doing is creating a neat HDR merge photo. Click on the apply and there's the thing applied. Let me just reduce that in size so you can see it. It's not too dark, it's not too light, the focus is still looking good and there's no deep shadows and no blazing highlights as I mentioned. That's actually ready to export. Export. Now what I want to do with this one is simply share it straight back to the photos album. I don't want to save it anywhere. Um, PNG or JPEG or anything like that. So I'll just wait till that stops generating for an export and I'll just cancel that and we're back to that. And that's all there is to that one. <clears throat> if you want to create a similar effect from photos that you've already taken, you may have one photo that you want to do this with. Now the next HDR merge image I want to show you is one that you can, one method you can use where you don't need to take three images. You just need to take one image and then make some adjustments with your Affinity Photo before you do the HDMR merge. Now you can see here I've got HDR test 0, HDR test 3, or minus 3, and HDR test plus 3. So there are your three, oh, let's close that, it's not quite what I wanted. This one here is the standard image. That's the first image I took. There's the same image and I reduced the exposure in that one using Affinity Photos um, tools and reduced the exposure to my by minus three percent. The second, the next one there, the plus three, I increased the exposure by plus three percent. Now we'll use those by going to, I've saved those, they're not in the photos gallery, they're simply in the folder. Now I'll open Affinity Photo, a new HDR merge template, and I'll load those this time using the little cloud there, and I'll load these from pictures. And there they are there. Test zero. So there's no extra um, on that one. And this one's minus three. That one's plus three. So they're the three options available in my standard camera. It's a, it's a Panasonic DSLR. But that's by the by. Nearly any um, camera these days has that available. Now we'll open those three images. There they are, zero, plus three, and minus three. You can see they come straight in. Now we just click OK. This will load them up, align the sources, merge the images. They're quite large images, these, because they're raw files and it does the tone map on them and you can see that now we've got a nice image in the middle of those three um, exposure value ranges. If you wanted to change them you can change them there but if you don't want to change them of course you've got nearly a perfect photo there. Just apply it there it is. That's all HDR merge is and it gives you the options. You can see that's not too... Let me see if I can um, bring those up again. There they are and you can see 0, 3, plus, minus 3 and plus 3. One's quite dark, one's very light and one's mid-range. Very, very, very simple to do. Okay, you can go back to there. There's no name on that, and I won't do anything with it. And there's no name on the other one. 
it's great for that kind of shot. It's great for forests and things like that to bring up the highlights amongst the leaves and the trees and the trunks of a, of a dark forest. Great for real estate shots, particularly for interiors, and so on. Okay, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends.